Hey guys, it's Amanda here from Faith and Homemade, and today I'm going to show you an activity tray I have set up for my preschooler. Now, this could be an activity you could do with um, older children as well, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and so on. But um, I'm going to do this with my preschooler, and what I'm going to start with is in this little cup, I have all these little animals. They're all ocean animals, and they're little ocean animal puzzles, okay? And uh, you can get these off my website. I'll leave a link below where you can get them. And I basically, I just printed them out and then I laminated them. What I'm going to have him do is I'm going to have him take out a um, puzzle, okay? So let's say he takes out the dolphin. He's going to put it together and I'm going to say, dolphin, that's a dolphin. And I also pulled out some of his little toys. I don't have a whole lot of ocean animals. I only had a few. Um, but I am, I am going to be making this activity for, um, like... Uh, Arctic animals and um, safari animals, stuff like that. And he's got a lot more toys for those animals. But he's only got a few of um, ocean animals. But I grabbed the ones that I could. And then if he has a toy, I'm going to have him match it up. So when he makes the dolphin, I'm going to say, okay, can you find the dolphin toy? And then he's going to find it and he's going to match it up. So it's kind of a Montessori type activity. So if you have little um, toys at home, you could use with your activity. That would be fun. So the next one he's going to do is seahorse. He's going to put it together. Then I'm going to say, that's a seahorse, seahorse. And then we can talk about these kind of animals and how they live in the ocean. They live in water, what kind of things they do. He doesn't have a seahorse toy. So we would probably then, instead of using the toys, I have one other thing that we can use. If you have books at home that have the animals in it, then you could have them find it in a book. So let's say he made the seahorse. Then what you can do is I'm going to turn in this book to the... Um, just a minute, bud. I'm going to turn to the um, page that has the, my four-year-old's acting up. Okay. Okay, under the sea, it has all the sea animals in it. And then I'm going to say, can you find the seahorse? And then he can find the seahorse. So instead of using the little animals as, you know, an activity, then he can find it in the book since I don't have all the animals. So then he can make the next one, which is an octopus. And I do have the octopus animal. So he can find that one. And we can talk about how they have eight legs and what an octopus is and what it does. And he can maybe even find it on the page. Let's see, is there an octopus on here? I'm looking, I'm looking. So anyway, if there is one, he can find it. There it is. So, um, yeah, so if you have a book, like any kind of ocean animal book would work with these ones. And then after I make the other um, sets of animals we will do those as well so we're going to start with ocean animals and go from there but i thought this was a fun kind of montessori hands-on activity for him to learn about ocean animals so if you're interested again in these cards where they can put them together and you can talk about the different animals i will um, leave a link below where you can get them and um, keep updated with my website because i'll be coming out with more cards as well for other different animal groups so all right we'll see you guys next time